Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a very common financial statement analysis, and that is the return on assets or ROA calculation. Um, as I said, return on assets, you common, commonly see this abbreviated ROA. It's probably one of the most common ratios that you see in financial statement analysis. The formula is up here in the upper right. Return on assets equals net income over average total assets. So let's break that down and think about what are we, what are we learning from this? Well, net income is the bottom line profit of the company. Your average total assets are the items that you have on hand that are supposed to generate profit for the company. And so really what this is telling you is about the profitability of your assets. And so it's a profitability ratio. And it's just saying, hey, you know those things that are supposed to make the company money? Um, do they or do they not? That's, that's all this ratio is telling you. Um, and that's what makes it such a popular ratio because it's, it's something important to know. So let's go ahead and calculate it. I have some um, financials here for Macy's. I have an income statement on the left, balance sheet on the right. Um, ROA equals net income over average total assets. I'm just going to do the most recent year. So we see here um, 2019, I apologize, it's a little blurry. Net income for Macy's was 564. Average total assets, typically in, say, an introductory level accounting course, you take last year, this year, add them together, divide by two, just simple average. Um, and so if I look for the total assets of Macy's, we've got um, last year 19,194, this year 21,172. I'm going to do 21,172 plus 19,194, all divided by two. There's all my numbers in place. So this is going to be 564 over. I'm going to pull out my calculator. 21,172 plus 19,194 equals, divided by 2, it looks like my average total assets were 20,183. And now if I want to go ahead and solve for my answer here, 564 divided by 20,183 works out to 0 .0, so we'll just say 2.8%, okay? So what is this telling us about Macy's? Well, what it's basically saying is that for every dollar you have in assets, the things that are supposed to generate value, um, you are generating approximately three cents in profit for every dollar in assets that you have. Um, and so is that good, is that bad? Well, we would have to compare Macy's to itself in prior years, to its competitors, to the industry average. Um, it definitely seems low, objectively speaking, but maybe this is the expectation for Macy's industry, or maybe this is way better than Macy's has done in the past, or maybe it's worse. Um, that's up to an investor to decide to say, you know, is uh, the return that Macy's is getting, is that acceptable or not? You would compare um, against itself or against um, other companies to decide that. But basically on the surface, that is what we're learning, that for every dollar in value generation that Macy's has, they are generating essentially three cents on that dollar. All right, that's it for your return on assets ratio. Um, I hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for another video.